Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here I have the Gundam 00 Diver from the new series, Gundam Build Divers. Um, so far, uh, it's a pretty amazing build. I built it, I would say probably in about 7 or 8 hours. I'm not really too uh, certain, but it took me quite a while last night, but I did take a lot of breaks. I watched a couple of movies, uh, just so that way it's not just going to get boring and I kind of get just... Like frustrated because I can't really just sit there and build all day. I kind of got to move around, go to the gym, do some something else. Um, but overall, uh, pretty simple build. So without further ado, I want to go ahead and get into the main body and then we'll ro roll into everything else. Okay, so starting with the main body, we're going to just talk about the head. Um, really for the head in particular, there's not much that's uh, from the old mold. I think except uh, for these little green uh, side pieces. Uh, right inside there. That's going to be pretty much uh, from the old uh, double O high grade. Uh, but I believe everything else is going to be completely new molds. Uh, especially this like blue top right here, the blue backings, uh, as well as this nice little V fin. Uh, the front mass is also brand new. Um, that's pretty much it. Like all this is uh, from a new mold. So that's really awesome. Now, there is going to be some stickers that uh, are going to be required for this kit, um, only in, in the sense of required. If you don't wish to paint your kit or if it's maybe for someone that's young and they're not as experienced um, but the stickers that are going to be used you're obviously going to have these little um, eye stickers right here uh, those are going to be for the eyes but i decided to go ahead and paint mine um, even though it's a little bit hard uh, to see the eyes like you kind of see it right there um, i i used a metallic marker uh, in particular i used uh, one of these gundam markers um, now normally it comes out really awesome, but for some reason, I don't know what happened, but it, it didn't it didn't show up or it doesn't show up as well in the camera. If you if you have it in the light like I do now, I can see it off the camera, um, but on the camera it's a little bit dark. Now you are gonna have a red sticker and that's gonna be for the front crown. Now that front crown is actually a clear uh, green, but um, I went ahead and just painted it with a clear red because I really just don't want to use the stickers. Uh, so this is the red I used. It's pretty, pretty much a Mr. Hobby uh, clear red, which works really, really well. All right, and on the front mask right here, uh, it's pretty much like on the sides. Um, it, that's gonna be a little bit difficult to see, um, but overall, like that's uh, gonna be gray. Uh, yeah, if you can see it, there we go. It's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit hidden inside the mask, but these little gray parts right here, those are supposed to be stickers, uh, which are right here. These little tiny ones, um, they're pretty, pretty terrible looking, in my opinion. Um, so I went ahead and just painted that, and I used a uh, gunna marker, worked pretty well. Next is going to be the clear green right here on the side, as well as the back right over there. Um, I went ahead and just painted those, but underneath it. You're supposed to use these stickers right here, which they're kind of like a very, very dark green, like even darker than like an olive green. Uh, so I don't like that. I went ahead and just, uh, I did an under, kind of like under the uh, the actual part itself. I just used silver, even though it's not the, um, the silver chrome marker I usually have. I, I don't have that here. Um, but this works fairly well. I would just say if you can get that, that chrome marker, that would work way better. And then I went ahead and used a clear um, clear paint to paint right on it. So the body mold looks pretty good. Uh, no real issues. Uh, there's only a few new parts, like some of the blue, uh, this white piece, and I think this kind of like cockpit right here. That's all brand new, but I think the red and uh, this gray was all uh, used from the old uh, 101 high grade double O Gundam. Um, but overall, the body looks fine. It's really nothing too complex. It's pretty simplistic in my opinion. Okay, so what about the arms? Well, I can tell you for starters, the shoulders, those are brand new parts, and they look pretty awesome. They're very simplistic, but I think they're pretty effective in comparison to the old um, double, o, uh, double O Gundam high grade. I think these actually just look a little bit better. Uh, biceps pretty much gonna be the same. Uh, now right here, this clear green piece, um, I just went ahead and painted a, a clear green right over it with some silver underneath it. So that way it just reflects a little bit better. Um, the bin is okay. It's it's I think it's pretty much the same as the original uh, high grade. So it's a little bit more than a 90 degree bin. Uh, then you're gonna get some different hands. Um, right now I'm just gonna be using these and I'll kind of showcase at the end of the video the different hands that it actually does come with. Um, now underneath here is another clear green piece, but it's not really noticeable. So to me, there's really no point to paint it uh, just because it's gonna be hidden anyways. 
Now I did paint the inside of these black just because I seen that in the manual. It looked like it was black, so I uh, just went ahead and did that. And I'm pretty sure, that this is, I mean, these are actually holes on the master grade, uh, so that way the weapons can actually plug in. So just painting them black actually gives it a little more depth and uh, kind of a little better feel of the actual arm. Now, what about the waist? Uh, the waist is fine. It's pretty much the chest piece right here, uh, these little yellow parts. Um, these are actually from the chest piece on the original high grade, so they basically kind of just put the, ch the chest right there on the uh, the front pelvis. Um, looks pretty good though. I, I don't really mind the look. At first, like when I seen it, I didn't think anything of it, but once I realized the chest is pretty much on the waist, I can't really get that out of my head. Um, then on the back, uh, pretty much um, nothing really new. Uh, you do get these beam sabers, however, there's actually no beam saber effect parts that come with this kit uh, which kind of blew my mind but in all honesty if you have extra beam uh, beam saber parts uh, in your collection I mean come on you can go ahead and just use those uh, without having to add to your collection of beam saber effect parts okay and what about the legs um, well the effect parts the the clear green effect parts are actually not going to be utilized on the legs you're just going to get these uh, basic white parts it's, it's pretty much two giant pieces right here uh, that are going to connect uh, the posability of the leg is really amazing though, so uh, the, like, it's basically uh, splits into uh, two different parts. So right here above the knee and right here below the knee, uh, it's going to come right there and then this is going to come uh, the rest of the way to give you a really nice bend. Uh, and then obviously these are one of those uh, high grade kits um, that is capable of doing the splits. So really great posability on the legs, and it's very surprising because this is a fairly old, I think it's like about a decade old um, high grade. So, I mean, really awesome. Even though a lot of these parts on the leg is gonna be reused, um, and it's gonna be combined with some uh, newer mold, I, I, I still think this is pretty, uh, pretty impressive. The only thing I'm not really uh, in favor of is uh, just one part of the foot is that there's no toe bend. I really do like toe bends because you can kind of give a, a, a better dynamic pose when it's in aerial mode. Uh, but there is a nice little kind of swivel right here uh, and a back, to, back and forth kind of movement. Now you're supposed to put stickers right here on top of the foot, um, which are these right here, these little gray ones. But I decided to go ahead and use a gun to marker and it worked out really well. Just make sure, I would say panel line around it to kind of make this, uh, is, is, I don't know, when you panel line certain parts on a kit that are painted, it just brings it out a little bit more. So you kind of get that dark shading at the bottom, uh, but it kind of um, accents that, that gray right there on the top. Okay, and looking at the backpack, um, backpack is really, it's pretty, pretty new to be honest. Uh, a lot of different parts is mainly uh, on these little binders. Now these little gray parts that connect to the backpack, those are going to be from the original high grade. Uh, so not really much uh, change as far as that, but these binders are all completely new and this backpack is completely new as well. So what's really awesome about these backpacks or uh, as far as the binders, you get these little kind of like wings on here that flap in and out, uh, but pretty much it's always been uh, seen with them kind of like more inwards. Now these are some thrusters right here and I, if I would have known, I, I really didn't realize that these are thrusters, these little gray parts. Um, if I would have known that, I would have definitely painted these uh, silver just because I like my thrusters to be, uh, to be silver in all honesty. Now you're going to get these GN drives and they're vastly smaller than the original high grades GN drives. Uh, but I also recommend doing some green uh, around there if you want, I mean do whatever colors you want, but I like painting. Um, painting green on my GM drives just to kind of bring out that uh, that kind of GM particle effect. Now what's the posability on these? Uh, they pretty much go back and forth like that. Uh, these go up and down, uh, they do rotate, and these little parts right here can go forwards uh, about that much. Well, actually it goes all the way forward, yep. So it can go all the way forward and all the way back. And on the backpack right here, I just went ahead and painted these thrusters silver because I think it just looks a little bit better and has a better presentation that way. Now as far as weapons, you do get two GN swords. Uh, this is the GN sword in its gun mode, which is pretty much the same thing as the original, um, the high grade GN sword. So really nothing has changed. Uh, I, I want to say maybe this blue part is uh, is new, but I, 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 I'm, actually, I'm honestly uh, pretty convinced that the whole thing was a part of the original runners, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, now you are going to need some stickers, uh, it's going to be pretty much a gray sticker that goes right here at the top, but um, you can go ahead and paint that. I wish I would have 
uh, prime mine because it would have came out a little bit better. Uh, but overall, you just got to go ahead and paint that uh, gray, and that's about it. And here's the second one, which I just have in its G and sword mode. Uh, these are pretty easy to go ahead and put it from gun to um, from gun to sword. All you got to do is switch that, uh, bring this little kind of like shield guard or I guess hand guard right there, bring that down, and then you're gonna bring. Um, this little handle, if I can get it, you're gonna bring that little handle down right there and bam, now you now have a uh, GN gun. Now one thing I just absolutely love about the, the sword mode is some of the dashing poses that you can pull off with. I think it looks really awesome uh, and it's something I'm really gonna be excited to do once I do the pose video uh, for this model. Now the one thing I will say about its gun mode is it's a little bit loose in the hand because um, it, it doesn't really have a tight grip. I try pushing down as far as I can, uh, but this little part right here, uh, that needs to be out and kind of simulate that it's connected into the arm. Uh, so it's not really gonna have the tightest fit, but if you kind of work with it, um, you're really gonna be able to pull it off, but it's gonna take a little bit of work to, in order to get it exactly correct. And when you're not using the GM blades, they can also be stored right here on the side waist. Uh, all it is is a little plug connector, so really shouldn't be any issues um, and it actually looks pretty cool if you just have them like in a basic pose uh, just stand there with the GN swords attached and you're gonna go ahead and get some different type of hands uh, you get some like trigger fingers right here you get an open hand right here and you're gonna get two uh, pretty much gripping hands uh, so that we can go ahead and plug in some weapons and stuff in those as well okay so what are my uh, thoughts and opinions on this kit uh, for 800 yen or you know for a thousand yen pretty much between you know between like eight and ten dollars that uh this kit retails for um i think it's completely worth it i think it's even worth maybe about 12 bucks um i, I may not want to say like up to 15 dollars because it really just does, does not come with many accessories uh aside from the gn um blades also it doesn't come with a stand which i i just wish they would come with simple stands um and just just to kind of show y'all um this is like the stand that a lot of kits uh you know from the bill fighter series did come with um uh, so i don't understand why this just couldn't have been uh, added with there even raised the price because i don't want to go out there and buy more um stands if i don't need to uh, this isn't something i'm really going to put in, in the most dynamic of poses um but it, this kit is gonna need a little bit of uh, probably paint and just detailing in order to kind of bring it out a little bit more. Um, the, so as you can see, this is pretty much a straight build uh, when utilizing paints, uh, panel lines, and uh, top coat. So I didn't really do anything extra to this. I just went ahead and painted certain detail spots in this, panel lined, and did a top coat. And uh, to me, this looks fine. You can obviously go way further than that. Um, but other than that, guys, I, I think this is worth your dollar. Uh, it's, it, if, if you really just love the Build Diver series so far, um, if you love the Double O Gundam, or what have you, or even if you're not in interested in any of those, um, if you just want a really solid high grade that, you know, even though this is a little bit dated with, with a couple of its parts, um, it still holds up extremely well. So uh, there's actually more uh, new parts on this than what there is old parts. Just just that that kind of gives you any kind of indication. Uh, but other than that, guys, uh, definitely thanks for watching. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe if uh, you definitely want to keep um, keep up to date and everything with all the type of videos I'm posting. Uh, and then ring that notification bell so that way you are 100% up to date when I do post something new. Uh, but that's it, guys. Uh, I'm going to be doing a post video of this guy pretty soon. And um, I'll see you all in the next review. Bye.